Hey everybody, it's Maiko, and today I want to talk to you a little bit about our oral history report project. And in the book it says, his voice dropped to a whisper. I want someone to hear my story. Will you? Here we've got Maury talking to Mitch saying, please listen to my story I want to share. And so using that as our inspiration, the conversations that took place between Mitch and Maury, you will be getting to interview uh, someone of retirement age yourself. And so the idea here is to pick somebody and skip a generation. So not your parents, but your grandparents, someone else of a similar age. They may be retired, they may not be. Maybe they're 60, maybe they're 90. Uh, giving you some flexibility there, but you're going to be interviewing them and finding out about their lives, about what uh, they've been able to accomplish and witness, what changes they've seen, and they'll be able to share some of their story with you. When you look at the project, which we're including this week, you'll see you're going to be doing an interview. Uh, we're going to be doing it on the phone this year. Because of the coronavirus, we know in-person might be complicated for you. And so have a phone call, FaceTime, Skype, Zoom, Google Meet, whatever you want to do. Uh, but have that conversation. It'll last about 20 minutes at least. Uh, feel free to go longer if you want. Uh, as you look through here, you'll see first you're going to identify you know, who are you interviewing and what time, what date are you going to interview them? And then you'll be writing a list of questions. What will you be asking them? Now, I want to tell you that in this packet, it says that you're going to be working up to at least 60 questions. You don't have to ask all 60 questions. When you're doing the interview, if you ask a question and they talk and they give you good information, you know, you might get through, I don't know, eight questions. 10 questions. You, you might get through more if the person that you're asking doesn't talk for very long. But then what I would recommend is follow-up questions. And so, you know, if you say, you know, what's one of your favorite memories? And they say, uh, you know, school when I was in fifth grade. You know, then maybe follow up and say, you know, what about it? Uh, what did you like? What did you enjoy? And so it's oftentimes those secondary questions where you really start to get some of the good information. And so as they're sharing, maybe you get a talker and they talk a long time. And in that case, you might want to ask questions uh, to be able to guide them uh, and be able to shape the interview that way. But if you ask someone and they're saying something and you find it interesting, feel free to freestyle. And maybe you have a follow-up question based on what they say. And oftentimes those are really the most interesting nuggets. And so uh, you'll see as you look through this, uh, we're introducing this today. It's Monday, uh, September 28th. Tomorrow, Tuesday, you need to make sure uh, you know who you're going to be interviewing. And so today, tonight, you need to reach out and find who are you going to be able to interview. And so have a conversation with your parents. Think about it. If you cannot find somebody tomorrow then reach out to your teacher, uh, myself, Mr. Benke, uh, Mr. Harvey, and we will help try to find a connection for you as well. And so uh, each person is going to find someone to interview. Uh, you'll also have 10 starter questions. And so you'll see when you go, you'll turn in, you'll say, this is who I'm interviewing. Uh, this is how I'm going to do the interview. I'm going to do it on the phone. I'm going to do a Zoom call. And then here's 10 questions. And so do that for tomorrow. By the end of the week on Friday, you're going to identify at least 60 questions and when you look in the packet you'll see lots of ideas uh, you want to find out maybe about their work hobbies uh, maybe about their childhood education marriage uh, favorite traditions philosophies etc and so you can come up with questions there you're also gonna have a, just a brief bio how you know the person what the connection is and then also by Friday you need a confirmed this is the date and the time in which we're gonna do the interview then you're going to do the interview. Uh, you have full, like a week and a half, two full weekends. Uh, so you need to have your, your interview completed by Monday, October 12th. By Monday, October 12th. And so you're making sure that you know, you're on time. You get that thing done. You have paper and pen to take notes. Serious attitude. Be professional. And you need to have questions that you ask, have that conversation for at least 20 minutes. Most of the time they're going to be talking. You're just asking the questions and then they'll be sharing stories. You'll also turn in a reflection then by Friday, October 16th. 
that's a narrative piece that you're writing, you'll be assessed on, and it needs to be typed two to three pages. Short summary of the experience, your ideas and thoughts going into it, what did you think, how did you feel, what did you look forward to, what were you nervous about? Uh, maybe, what was it comfortable, was it awkward for you? Discuss the flow of conversation, and then finally, what were your impressions after the interview? Uh, explain what you learned about yourself, about the person you were interviewing, about life in general. And you might even compare and contrast your interview to the conversations that Mitch and Maury have. And finally, a follow-up. Write a thank you note uh, that you send. That can be something that you mail, uh, preferably, uh, but it could also be something that you email. And just thank them for their time. Maybe share a favorite memory from the conversation. And that's it. And so I am really excited to hear uh, about what you get to experience in your conversation. What we find is with most people, they're a little bit nervous and anxious and they don't know how they'll be able to talk that long. But once you get into that conversation and that person starts sharing, it's really a lot of fun to see what you get to learn and maybe see how the world has changed uh, in their lifetime. And so I'm excited about it. I know Mr. Benke and Mr. Harvey are too. If you have any questions, let us know. But we'll, follow, we'll have information in all of your learning calendars for the next three weeks with all of those dates and reminders. Just make sure you complete everything on time. Have a great day, you guys.